Hello! So I have a special surprise for you guys today. Uh, temperatures are dropping, but it's been pretty warm this season. So we still have a bunch of chicken mushrooms growing around. Now these are typically an autumn mushroom and we're getting really close towards winter. But it's due to the temperature, there's still a few of them around. Um, I was expecting to find a few hen of the woods today, but they are going to come around when it starts getting colder. But I'm going to harvest some of this so I can eat it later. These are um, Latoporus sulfurus. It is the chicken mushroom. It is also a, it feasts on wood just like the honey mushroom, but not as viciously. It, it, it'll typically leave its host tree alive for quite a while before it entirely destroys it. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what mushrooms do. They decompose dead wood, rotting wood, live wood sometimes. They're, they're the janitors of the forest, among other things. Um, these are a polypore mushroom. So if you look here, instead of having gills, what it has is pores, is the, is the only way to put it. So it'll drop its spores through its pores, and those spores will spread throughout the forest, land somewhere, and begin to inoculate some more dead wood or live wood. Typically they like to grow on oak trees and there is some sketchiness when it's growing on something like a pine or a cedar. Uh, when it's growing on there it'll have a certain, uh, more of a certain chemical inside it. It's not going to kill you you know, most people it's not going to kill, but it can give you an upset stomach. So I typically stay away from uh, chicken mushrooms that are growing on like pines or cedars or any any evergreen tree. If a chicken mushroom is growing on it, I'll leave it alone. But this is growing on what appears to be a dead oak log. So I'm going to take it, cook it up, eat it tonight. One cool thing about this is this is a mushroom that has a lot of protein in it. Um, pound for pound, it's very similar to actual chicken. Um, it will give you very stinky farts. Um, you typically want to cook it for about 15 minutes, just like any mushroom, especially if you're sensitive to fungus and, you know, wild food. So if you ever see any of this, try a little bit. If you're okay, try some more. I'm really excited to find this. It's a super bright color. I almost missed it. And, um... I will see you later. I'll probably upload something else today. I'm going on a very long solo hike with the pooch. Right, Nolly? She's chilling. Peace.